Yo guys, it's up, it's Boogie Pro here, and we recently eat 9,000 subs. Now, thank you ever so much for this new milestone, and this has been going crazy because I didn't publish a video in two weeks, and I gained 500 subs without publishing any videos. Wait, that's actually the most I've ever gained. And like, I didn't publish any videos. Wait, does YouTube not want me to publish videos? Thank you ever so much for this 9,000 subscribers milestone, and we are already at 9.5k. This means that 10k is coming really soon, and I'm so excited for it. Anyways, to thank you all for this milestone, we are gonna celebrate with a giveaway. Exactly, many of you play Minecraft, so it's gonna be a Minecraft iPixel rank giveaway. If you have a VIP on iPixel, you're gonna get VIP+, plus. if you don't have a rank, you're gonna get VIP, and so on and so forth. Now, participating in this giveaway is not actually as simple as it looks. You know why? Because this is not actually a, a giveaway, but it's actually a competition, a competition to the death. Yeah, I mean, not, not to the death, don't, don't worry about that. If you want to participate in my giveaway, you have to go in the link at the, at the description. As you know, I'm creating a game, and the link in the description that is this one is gonna bring you to this page. You may say, Nico, what are we gonna do in this page? What is this? Well, basically, as you know, I just uplay updated my game. Oh, whoops, I messed it up. Uh, okay, I just updated my game that I'm creating to a brand new version. And this new version adds a lot of stuff. It adds all of this stuff, okay? So basically now you can create online levels. If you don't know what my game is about, I'm gonna leave another link in the description to, uh, for you to find out, okay? And, you know, this added a lot of stuff and I really want people, you know, to try and create levels in my game because, you know, this game, as you know, is like an editor. As you can see, you can create puzzles, create levels, create maps and Whoever creates the best map is gonna win an iPixel rank. I probably already mentioned this before, but now it's official. Now the competition begins. So basically what you have to do is go in the link in the description and you're gonna see this release right here. You gotta click on it, I mean you don't really need to click on it, but there are these downloads right here. So download the version of the game for your own operating system, in my case it's Linux, uh, but you know, uh, I can also download the Windows one. I'm gonna download the Linux one, as you can see. Now I have it on my computer, it's downloading, as you can see. And once it finished downloading, you just open it, you extract it, okay? So it's extracting it right there. And now, once you go right here and you go in downloads, you're gonna see Linux and go onto the game. And you're gonna be able to play it, as you can see. Now it's already loaded, so I don't wanna create a mess. Can you please, uh, thank you so much. So as you can see, this is how we got inside the game, and this is how you download the game. But once you downloaded the game, what do you have to do? Well, it's actually quite simple, my friend. Only thing you have to do is create an account. So basically, once you press on this button right here, you're gonna have to just sign up. You actually don't need to put, you know, some, uh, a lot of information. Just put a username, like, hello, okay? And then put an email, like some stuff, some stuff, uh, point uh, com, I, I don't know. And then some password, and then sign up. Oh my gosh, I actually signed up with that name. Uh, okay, well, uh, I think I have to clear up some of my database. And there you go, these are all of the people that signed up. Uh, as you can see, the emails are blurred, because I don't want you guys to naturally see them. I cannot see these people's passwords, because they are encrypted. But I'm gonna remove this account I created right here, because, you know, it, it was kind of a mistake, okay? I, I was just trying to show you. So as you can see, the, the account is deleted now. Okay, once you've done an account, you can click on here. Or maybe you can even click on play levels, because, you know, if you want to actually play the game, as you can see, uh, this is a little tutorial that is gonna explain how the game works and how the mechanics work, so as you can see, there are a lot of little cute mechanics. But now comes your part. Once you click on this pencil, you're gonna be able to be in an editor, okay? This editor has a lot of functions, and I'm gonna show you them all in this video, and, you know, you have to create, thanks to the editor, a level, okay? So let's create a, a little level, okay? Let's create something simple. I don't know if you're already familiar with this game. Uh, before creating a level in the editor, I suggest, you know, taking familiarity with this game because naturally, in order to create a level, you have to play a lot of levels. I'm gonna be releasing some levels in the database um, soon. Uh, so as you can see, now we will do this little level right here, okay? Let's see if we can complete it. We are right here and then we get to the end. Pray, we completed the level. Now I'm gonna actually, give me a sec. I'm gonna actually make this a little bit down, so you can see it better, so I'll do boom, and boom, 
and now I can publish the level, I can call it the test level, okay? And as you can see, it's gonna let me publish the level, and now we are right here, and we published it. Uh, what is happening? What is that? Okay, that's a bug. And we published the level, and uh, we published it as hello. We kind of deleted the account, so this is a little bit buggy, but as you can see now, the level is gonna be in the database. As you can see, when you go here, the level is right here in the database. And once you click on it, you are gonna be able to play it, and all of the world is gonna be able to play it. So what is gonna happen? When I actually review your levels, I'm gonna go right here, I'm gonna look up the names, and I'm gonna get all of your levels, and I'm gonna play every single one of your levels in a live stream. And the one that I like the most is gonna win uh, an iPixel VIP rank. So this is how the giveaway works. Now let me remove uh, this level right here. And someone already did a level. This guy is Jason6331. We're gonna actually play his level right now and see what it means. I think I already played this. Um, yeah, I think I already played this in another video because you know uh, it was for an older version. Uh, so I, I, I kind of don't want to play it again because you know it's the same level I play, played. But as you can see, this is an example of a level created by someone. Uh, you know for the competition and this guy actually has a, a big chance to win the competition now since this is the only level ever created Also, I can show you a, a level I created for the competition naturally I'm not gonna win because I'm bad <laughs> And as you can see we have confuzzled. It's a little level I created. It's a little bit confusing, okay? So I'm not gonna tell you the solution naturally, but basically uh, You may think you have to reach here the end but, like, like, you may think you are at the end, you are winning, but once you go here, you're gonna get teleported right here, you're not gonna be able to... Oh, actually, you can cheat the level. Okay, well, never mind, that level is bad, I'm gonna actually delete it now, because it's, it's actually pretty garbage. Alright, but today's video is not gonna only be breaking my database and adding a lot of, of garbage, okay? In today's video, I'm gonna actually show you how to create a level so you guys can be more set up for this iPixel uh, giveaway. So, you know, if I create a level, for example, now this level is loaded for some reason, so I can just delete it. Now we have to create a level. The first thing that you want to realize is actually to adjust the size of the level. So in my case, I'm going to do it uh, 15 by 15. I don't want a really big level. So as you can see, it's a little bit cozy and, and fun, okay? So I'm going to tell you what all of these patterns do. This is basically to save the level. So for example, if we create something, something beautiful uh, like this, and then we save it as test level, uh, test K level, okay, so whatever. <laughs> uh, and then we add a lot of stuff, or maybe we create a new level and we delete this. Uh, then you're not gonna have the level anymore, but if you go on load, test K level, and you're gonna load it back, so this is amazing. But by the way, this game was entirely done by me, and you know, it's been a blast coding it, and so I really want people to enjoy it and see what they can create over my editor and I wanna see if it's actually intuitive. So the, the reason I'm doing this giveaway naturally is because you know I'm celebrating 9k subs but also because I'm really excited to see what you guys can come up with in this kind of editor. Now there are two ways you can use the, the editor, I mean there are two different tools as of right now. You can switch them with this button right here. There is the mouse tool that is basically gonna let you uh, select blocks and place them and there is the rectangle tool. Actually, let me do this. Let me go here and let's do clear data. So now you're gonna have the tutorial on the editor. If you wanna check it out, just post the video and you know, you're gonna have the entire tutorial. As you can see, once you pl place a block, it's gonna tell you to place a block, you can right click it to check its properties. In fact, at example, we can have a right click and here we can put a moves level, uh, l limit that is like 5. So now the player can only move 5 times. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And now I cannot move anymore, that's bad. Or at example, there may be some blocks where you can step on them only a certain number of times. So at example, you can step on this block only 9 times. I mean, that's not gonna be a problem because I, I don't have any moves. I'm gonna put it to 0, so uh, yeah, so now it's unlimited. So as you can see, I can only step on it 9 times. But if I right click this block and put it to 3, I can only step on it 3 times now. So you also have this new uh, capability. And now, I was talking about the tools. You have two tools. The default one, that is actually the mouse one, so you can select blocks and you can place them, and also the selection block, uh, the selection tool. So basically you can use this rectangle to select blocks, and you can, you know, click on cans to delete them. You, you could also move them, as you can see, or you can do copy, and they're gonna get cloned. Naturally the player is not gonna get cloned because there can only be one player in the scene, but as you can see if we copy all of these levels, 
I mean all of these blocks, we can clone them everywhere. Now be careful not to make, you know, these things go outside the border, or they're just gonna get destroyed forever, so yeah, don't, don't do that. Anyway, let's see if I can actually create my own level. Now I'm not sure if this is gonna be nice, because I'm not that good, yeah, I mean, actually I make maps from Minecraft, so this is not gonna be that different. Uh, this may be good. Now to help us make a level, we are gonna actually use the grid. This grid is gonna tell you, um... Uh, how much the player has to travel to have a camera scroll. If you don't know what I'm talking about, as you can see, uh, if we are right here, uh, if we walk for a bit, sorry, I'm gonna put some blocks, if we walk for a bit, as you can see, the camera will start scrolling. So as you can see, the camera just scrolled right here. So this grid is gonna tell you when the camera is gonna scroll, so you can adjust your level to it. So as you can see now, if I go up, it's gonna scroll, if, if I go to left, it's gonna scroll. So yeah, this is how it works, now we know everything about the editor, and let's actually make our level. So as a cool level, I actually wanted to make a one room puzzle. So the way this puzzle works is that it actually only has to be made in one room, so the player cannot scroll the screen. So as you can see, if I do this, yeah, the player will be in this box, and you know, won't be able to do anything uh, to scroll the screen. So basically it's a one screen puzzle. So this is gonna be actually our level size, we could say. So it's 6x6, six six, if I recall correctly, so we can just do 6x6. Six six. And here we go, the level side I, I adjusted, and as you can see we are right here, and we have our level, and now we have to create our puzzle. Now in one screen puzzles, I usually put the start right here and the end right here, so you know, we have it at the opposite corners, and now I can start actually creating the level and start designing. So what I wanna do, I wanna make that the end is actually blocked, okay? It's blocked by some evil uh, black squares. If you don't know what these squares do, do, basically the holes, they don't let you go through, okay? But if you push a movable block into them, you're gonna be able to go through. So probably you're gonna have to put a movable block somewhere around here. So I'm gonna put a movable block right here, okay? And I'm gonna put a wall right here. But now I cannot make this level too simple, okay? It has to be a little bit more complicated. So what I'm gonna do, uh, I'm gonna uh, put, like, some locks to this block. So as you can see, this block is gonna be locked, you're not gonna be able to access it from the top. So the only way to move it is by collecting a, a key. Because as you can see, now I cannot move it. But if I have a yellow key, for example, boom, boom, oh, whoops, that's not the correct item. Yes, a yellow key. I'm gonna be able to access the key and then access the block and then get to the end. So perhaps we could, uh, yeah, add some blocks right here. Yeah, that could be a, an idea. So as you can see now we have this kind of situation going on. Now we have to hide this yellow key somewhere. Where should we hide it? We have to make this place a little bit crowded. So we're gonna put it right here, okay? But it's gonna be actually a fake. Because right here we're gonna put a lot of blocks where you can only step on them once. So this means that the player can only go here once, okay? So he has to get the key and then go here. And you ever have to get like, oh, whoops, I messed it up. We're gonna put some left arrows, so you can only access this area going uh, from the left. As you can see, uh, sorry, from the right to the left. So right here. But you cannot access it from the bottom. So we're gonna delete this st stuff right here because we don't need it anymore. And now, this is some stuff we got going on right here. Uh, I, I still think this has to be harder, okay? So basically, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna create this kind of barrier right here. And it must be uh, a bear or of holes. If you don't know what this block does, it basically destroys something. So as you can see, if I step on it, uh, the level is gonna restart because, you know, I, I died. The red block kills me. So basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a lot of blue blocks right here, okay? And we're gonna put a destroy block right here. And boom, do this. And then put a lot of walls. Yes, th 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 this is gonna work. I don't know how this is gonna work, but whatever. Okay, so I've been thinking and a lot of ideas are coming to my mind. So as you can see, there is a little bit of a, a cool property, okay? I'm gonna actually show it to you. As you can see, this is a teleporter block, okay? If I go from one side to the other, I'm gonna teleport. So if I go here, I'm gonna teleport to the other side, and so on and so forth. But now there is a cool feature. If one side of the teleporter is locked, so like it's occupied, I'm not gonna be able to teleport to it. I don't know if I can show you this, but as you can see, if we do something like this, now this side is blocked, and now as you can see, I cannot teleport to the other area. So as you can see, uh, I cannot 
teleport to the other area as you can see but if we unlock it I'm gonna be able to teleport so basically this is how it's gonna work and this is what the, this is the mechanic that we're gonna use for the level we're gonna put a teleporter here but this is an involuntary teleporter so basically we don't wanna go here so what we have to do is lock this teleporter right here so it's not gonna give us any problem and we're gonna lock it with this block so we're gonna do this now I have to study the level a little bit more because naturally this is getting a lot uh, crowded and a lot of stuff is out of place so give me a few seconds just to fix the entire level Okay guys, I think I got something going on. I know it's been a long time, like it's been really a lot, I've been trying to figure this level out, but I really want it to be good. Now you may say, Nico, what is this mess? But it actually took me a while to create this. This is still not ready, but I just wanted to show you the progress. So as you can see, the end is right here. The problem is we cannot access the end. Only things that we can do are this, and this is gonna destroy this block, this, and this we're gonna do anything else and wait why did, didn't this work okay that, that whatever okay so what you actually have to do is this and boom but now to you know go forward you are forced to you know block the exit so as you can see i cannot do anything else i have to block that so i can move this block right here to the hole and now this is looking already pr pretty well what you have to do right now is actually get into the yellow teleporter do this, go back, and now from here, we can get the key, and then boom, and then do this. Now, the, and now we have the red key, okay? And now, uh, you have to find a way to get into the red teleporter, and then once you get into the red teleporter, you have to go back, you have to do this, then push this block right here, and then, okay, well, this is a bug, you're not supposed to finish the, the level once you get right here. Yeah, uh, that's not supposed to happen. So see, I still have to fix a lot of stuff. Another thing that I have to fix is that if I do this, I can already get the key. And that's not supposed to happen either. I have to make a way so I can only get the key once I get from the teleporter. So you know, it's a little bit of a mess, but I'm gonna try to fix it. Okay, so guys, it took a while, but finally the level is finished. And as you can see, it's really crowded, so I, I, I put in every single space. There is no air block. This seems really complicated, but there is actually just one way to finish the level. So, you know, it's not that hard. Probably you can figure it out on your own, but I like it because, you know, it has some really cool mechanics, such as this. As you can see, now we are blocking the hand, but we cannot do anything else. So we have to proceed in this direction, okay? And we're gonna get into the yellow portal and get the yellow key. But here is the catch. Now, we don't have to go down or else we're gonna make a big mistake. What we have to do is go back 
and use the key this way and then go up and now we fill in this block so now if we do this we can get the red key now we have to be careful not to go here or we're gonna fail on the red portal we have to go on the yellow portal open up this key do this and now we can go on the red portal get the blue key go on the red portal now get back and go on the blue key, open up the blue lock, and then once we go here, we unblock the end, because this blue block will get pushed into this red block, and, uh, you know, we will reach the end, so I think that this happened, in fact, we finished the level, it's a good game. So once you created your level, something like this, it doesn't have to be a one screen puzzle, you can actually make it bigger, but I just wanted to do something sa smaller for this video. What you have to do is click this button and publish it. We're gonna call our level Crowded, and I already logged in with my account, so it's gonna, it's gonna look like I made it. So now, uh, as you can see, you have to test the level and play it, and now, as you can see, it's gonna be right here, now there is test level, that is is actually the one we did before, I'm still yet to delete it, and now when we go again that is also crowded, created by Nico the Pro. And also there is this pattern that will let you play a random level, so as you can see this is a random level randomly selected and randomly generated and you can play. But anyways, this is all I wanted to show you for today, I hope you really enjoyed this video and I hope you really fill up this database with a lot more levels. I'm gonna still introduce fixes to the game, so be on the head out, uh, you know, for new versions of the game. If you wanna know about more versions coming, because I already found a lot of bugs while making these videos, and I'm gonna probably fix them today. If you wanna know about, you know, uh, the other versions I'm about to upload, and try to get them as soon as they come out. The link that's uh, in the description uh, is an universal link, so this means that if, if there are more versions, I'm gonna show you. But once I upload another version, like 0 0.6, you can just check back on this website and check the updated version and download it. Now, if you wanna know when a new version comes out, then you have to join my coding discord, it's gonna also be in the description, so you can check that out. Anyways, thank you ever so much for watching this video to the very end, Hopefully you will get the iPixel rank, so now the only thing that you're gonna do is join the game, make an account, and try to win and fight for the rank. Hope you really enjoyed this video, the competition is gonna go on for one week or so, so you have plenty of time to think about a cool level, such as the one we created right now. And yeah, hope you really enjoyed this video, it was really amazing to make, leave a like if you did, and I'm gonna see you guys next time. See ya!